Hello everyone, this is TechKITV. Today I will show you how to create a World of Warcraft private server with an R R A R C E M U core. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, first what you need to do is download Navicat. So go to Mo go to your internet browser. Uh, go to google.com. Yeah, go to Google. And search Navicat. N A V I C A T. The first one should be like Navicat database admin tool. Yeah. <clears throat> Just click on that. Navicat.com. You'll see up on the top download. Go to download center. And you'll get with this. You'll see non commercial free light version right here on the bottom and just click on your um on your operating system click direct download and then it should take you to cnet.com or dot download.com or something like that just click download now then your download will begin in a moment just download and install it I already did, so I won't do it. And what cancel? Okay. So once you did that, go to uh, wow-devil.org, and link will be in the description. You'll find form right here in the main menu. Click on form. go down to releases repacks and then just find it'll be in the description the link but um, look for snakeology 3.3.5 a repack just download it uh, I already did this and if you this just has like tons of scripts and everything if you want the main if you just want to start out fresh and everything I recommend this one for newbies for like little noobs whatever but if you want to start off fresh um, go back to the repacks folder and the first one you'll see snack out Zach all technology 3.3.5 arc EMU um, Arc EMU Core. Yeah, this is uh base. The Snake Out Technology one is based off of this one. This has this is the same exact thing except no scripts. So I'll just click the download. Anyway, just click the download link on both of them. I think you have to register. I don't know. Uh, you can also try out any of the other ones, but I recommend those two, mostly because. Zachology is the owner. Snake Snake Nology, he's one of my friends. He's um uh, his is pretty cool. Uh, I'm using this one. So after you've downloaded it, it should like go to where you downloaded it. And if you open it up, you should see like retrib um retribution wow. That should be like the folder. And then you'll see and then like You'll see three point server three point three point five. When you open it up, <clears throat> you should see these. If you have the other one, if you have Zachnology, you should only see like four or five files. But these ones, but here, um, just go to your C drive computer. And you go to your local disk, <clears throat> and then just drag the file onto the C drive. Let's just let's just move, and then there you go. That's kind of how you install a repack. And yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, here's how to change the. Realm list. 
Oh, not the realm list, but the realm name. First go to where are you in, uh, first go to C drive. Well, first off, what I recommend is right clicking on the server. Uh, if it's the Zach knowledge you want, it's server 3.3.3. Anyway, right click on it, send to, and then go to desktop. Then I'll create a shortcut right here. Anyway, just, I'm just using that. So, this. Um, go to, once you're in your server folder, go to R R Arc E M Arc M U or A R C E M U, whatever. Then go to configs and click on realms. Right click, open with Notepad. I'm gonna open it with Notepad plus plus. It's a lot better anyway. Anyway, when you see in the realm name, it should be something like Snake, Knowledge, whatever. It should just say like a bunch of random stuff in realm one name. Just name it to whatever you want. So I'll name it to Tutorial. Then save it. Then there you go, that's how you change the realm name. Okay, so I've showed you how to create how to download the repack. I showed you how to rename the server. Now I will show you how to create I mean not create, but actually run your server as localhost. Um with the server on its current settings right now, you can play offline. Or online because you you can only you can play offline or online, but nobody else can join your server just yet. So anyway, to um yeah, what I said before. Double click on server. Go to yeah, go to server. Click on Apache. Sometimes for me, most of the time it doesn't work. It just closes, but for me it works, so I don't know. And run my SQL. Yeah. If it says like it's already running or something, open the task manager by clicking control delete. Go to processes and just look for the file. It's like my SQLD or something like that. Anyway, after you've opened my SQL and Apache, <coughs> um click Arc EMU. ArcMU and run logon server and world. So logon server. This is success ready for connections. The world. The the world will take a while. <coughs> You'll know when it's done when it says like loot underscore pickpocket. And then yeah. <coughs> well, this'll take a while, but anyway. I'll just pause it till it's done so I don't have to waste y'all's time. Y'all's time, so. Okay. <clears throat> you know it's done when it shows loot creatures, game objects, stuff like that. And now, and now you should just be able to log on. Well, after you do that, um, go to your, where you install World of Warcraft. Usually it's, uh, program files. Your computer, C, program files in World of Warcraft. I have mine on desktop since I downloaded a special launcher. Anyway, then go to data, ENUS or ENGB, whatever. Then uh, right click on realm, list, and then open with. Choose notepad. I'll, I'm going to do notepad plus plus. Anyway, so now that you have this, Oh, hang on. Yeah, I have a lot of realm lists. Um, make a make a new line of everyone you have. Put a little number symbol, <clears throat> which should be above the three. And shift three. So anyway, type in set space realm list one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one. And what this does is that it targets your computer as a, a little hotspot thing. 
Mm, yeah. Then save it. Close it. Then you should be able to log on to World of Warcraft with the username admin and the password. Admin. Admin. <clears throat> yeah. And that's how you test it out. Then if you just want to close your server, press control. Hold down control and press C. And then it should shut down. Do that with every single one. With the MySQL, you might have to hit it a few times. Like, you have to hit it twice. Control C. Then it shuts down. And that's how you start your server and stop it. Okay, so this is the final step of creating our basic server. Um, this is for, um, in the first step, you downloaded Navicat Lite. Now you actually need to use it. So open up your uh, server folder, which is in the C drive. I created a little shortcut, remember? Anyway, then go to server and launch MySQL. That's all you need. And then run Navicat Lite. Um, go to then go to File, New, MySQL, or it should automatically pop this up. The connection name it can be anything. I put I put a uh, Wow Server Tutorial. The Leave everything the same. The password must be ascent. A S C E N T. Which is right here. Then, okay. And there you go. Now double click it. And then there should be all these. Double click on log on. Then double click on accounts. And there should only be one, which should, is admin and admin. Click the little plus on the bottom, or press the insert key, and then just put your login. I'll do um, LOL or tutorial. And then the password. Put your password. Tutorial. If you want to make it a GM, put it A Z. If you want it to be regular account, just put regular. Don't do anything. And now this is crucial. Um, like zero, I think is classic wa World of Warcraft. Twelve is Burning Crusade. Twenty-four is Wrath of the Lich King. Make sure you put it on twenty-four. If not, it'll mess up everything. Anyway, then just exit, save, and then just start up everything. The then just start up the logon server and world. And then go to World of Warcraft and log in with the account you just created. This is Tech KITV signing off. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed watching this.